Sunscreen is an important part of your sun protection strategy. Here are five things you need to know about sunscreen. Know your ABCs. In order to understand sun protection and sunscreen, you have to understand that the sun produces three types of ultraviolet rays, UVA, UVB, and UVC. Currently, only UVA and UVB reach the Earth's surface. So when we're talking about being protected from the sun, we're, right now we're talking about UVA and UVB rays. Know what protection you're buying. SPF, or sun protection factor, is a way to measure how much protection a sunscreen provides versus your body's natural sun protection. SPF is a complicated measuring system that ranges from 2 to 100. The important thing to know is that an SPF of 15 blocks about 93% of UVB rays. An SPF of 30 blocks about 97% of UVB rays. So really, anything more than an SPF of 30 is going to provide little additional protection. Be sure to use a sunscreen that has UVA and UVB protection. SPF only refers to protection from UVB rays. So look for a sunscreen that says UVA, UVB protection, or broad spectrum coverage. Know when to apply sunscreen. Sunscreens need 20 to 30 minutes to be absorbed into your skin, so you need to apply before you go out in the sun. Most sunscreens only last for two hours and then need to be reapplied. So at sun safety, we say, don't burn, reapply at the turn. Know that clouds do not protect you. UVA and UVB rays are not visible to the naked eye. So just because it's a cloudy day and the visible sunlight is blocked, does not mean that UV rays are blocked by the clouds. In fact, up to 80% of UV rays can reach you on a cloudy day and you can get sunburnt. Know that sunscreen and sunblock are not the same. Sunblocks do not have chemicals in them and use minerals such as titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which when applied to the skin form a physical barrier. This barrier then reflects the UV rays. Sunblocks tend to go on opaque or white in color and are thick to apply. Sunscreens are chemicals that are absorbed into the skin and which then absorb the UV rays. Because of their chemical composition, sunscreens tend to go on more elegantly or easier. However, some people are concerned about the use of chemicals on their body. Choosing the right sunscreen for you is a personal matter. It really depends upon the activity you're doing, the coverage you're looking for, and your skin sensitivity. But regardless of which sunscreen or sunblock you choose, use it early and use it often.